Hello, all the way again, nuggets of wisdom coming at you again. Another mind hack series. The word is visualization. Let's get it. Welcome back. Why I hit this like, share, hit the notification bell for new content. My brothers, my sisters, you all know there's a been a lot of books written about mindset. Oh, you have to have your mind right. You have to have this right. But what folks don't tell you is that you can read these things until you, until you ingrain it into your own self, until you really understand what mindset means. You are playing. I read a lot of books. There's been a lot of books about your mind. Um, I, read, I just read the Master Keys a minute ago. Has a whole lot of information about the mindset. The question is, how do we activate these 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 situations? How do we make these things come reality? But nobody really tells us. I don't say nobody really tells us. I don't think. I think. It's a, I think it's a personal work. Let me just be honest. I don't think that people have not done a good job of explaining mindset. I just believe it's a personal work. And you really have to dig in the weeds, understand what this is all about. The word I'm going to talk about today is visualization. And a lot of people have said this over the years about visualization. But they really don't understand that you can have the best dreams ever. You can understand where you are going, but you have to put yourself in that place, right? A lot of people have vision boards, whatever they call it, to say, okay, yeah, 2023, I'm going to buy XYZ, I'm going to get married, this, blah, blah, blah. There are all these things together. But how many times are we used visualization in every area of our life? So if I want to say to you, oh, Mr. Ryan Kwong, you are 20 years old, if you put X amount of glass away, by the time you're my age, OG, senior citizen, you'll be bagging about a million dollars. It's a visualization of where you can be in the future, but not now. The question is that we ask, we still want to fast forward our now that we forget to visualize of where we're going. I like words. As everybody knows me on this channel, I don't just like when to tell you, oh, I've heard it before, I read this book before. Let's get into the wisdom of visualization as soon as it means. The Thesaurus, if I pronounce it correctly, because I, I always turn my words sometimes, visualization is the mechanism of the attachment which you require. Visualization is a very different process from seeing. Seeing is physical and is therefore related to the objective world. In other words, I want to project what's going to be in the future. I want to see what may happen to me, right? So let's say, for example, I remember just like myself, let me give you this story. I wanted to buy my car that I'm still been driving around to Nazri, but then it was, the, it was the creme de la creme. And everywhere I went, I saw that car. But I visualized in my mind, that's what I wanted to buy. So. The question is that, do we visualize enough about our future? Do we see our future self in where we are? And I don't understand that sometimes life can be hard and you are caught up in the day to day. I've done that myself. I've been in a situation where I'm caught up in the day to day and I really don't really visualize. What I'm telling you is when I want to go back and do it again. Have I done it before? Yes. Have I done enough of it? No. And that's why I want to let you guys know that visualization is very, very powerful. If you cannot see it, you cannot receive it. If you don't believe it, right, there's no way you can receive it. If you believe that I'm never, I'm not talking about being braggadocious, I'm not talking about being rude, I'm not talking about just saying it because you want to be a loud mouth. But you got to be able to see it. And if you cannot see it, you cannot receive it. 
I'll give you one of my arms. I told my, I told everybody around me, I want to live off the grid one of these days. So we're in the body somewhere. But it's going to have all the amenities of the modern world. But I still visualize and see it that way. Right? I may want to get an electric car. That's just in the field of my stuff that I'm just throwing out there. But as I'm speaking to you, I need to do a better job of actually have a picture on my wall, right? That will allow me to know that I can receive what I say I want to see in the physical. I want to have my healthy body, which I've had before. So I have a picture four years ago that I was more trimmer than what I am today, right? And that picture is my visualization, right? So that's things you have to do. It might be for you travel, right? You've not been in a place like myself. I've, I've broken my visualization this year that I want to, it doesn't have to be international, but I want to take breaks in different cities. I can walk, I can do different things. I don't have to be in my place to study all the time. So today, I'm not in Minneapolis, I'm in Austin with my young friend here, Ryan, who's helping me out to video this day. So I'm letting you understand that violation is very, very powerful. The question in 2022 is that our visualization has become social media. Our visualization has become what everybody wants. I don't think everybody has sat down and done a deep dive of what visualization is supposed to be. And how do we start that? The first thing is that, what do Olu want? What do I want? Not what Ryan wants. Not what my son wants. Not what my daughter wants. What do I want? Not, not just because everybody was in a bandwagon for this. And this is the, the flavor of the month. This is the popular thing that is going on. And I said, yes. Like, it's the same thing like it's going crazy right now. It's a Beyonce concert coming out. Right? And everybody's going on that bandwagon. The ticket is $2,000 right to go to a beyonce concert i'm not saying people i'm not against you beehive folks but i'm just saying if people put value this is my own assumption no no don't don't kill the messenger this is just my assumption if you put value let's say you will have enough of the ten dollars to spend do you know what else you can use the ten dollars for do you value yourself to know to say I love Beyonce, but I'm valuable too. Forget about the name dropping, forget about that. That's what visualization do. Visualization do, one thing the visualization helps you do, it doesn't allow you to make mistakes. Because you can now separate the junk from the real. <clears throat> that's what visualization does. That is not my, that's not my thing, right? I'm not doing it. And that doesn't mean that's a bad idea. It doesn't mean that going to the Beyonce concert, you're, you're not going to like it. I want to go a little bit, let me go a little bit on the ramp on the Beyonce tickets. They were saying that just to be in the bleachers is $600. You're not even, you're not even in the front. And you spend that amount of money. You, that's why there's a lack of visualization in 2023. Nobody wants to sit down and visualize. The vision has become what is popular. What is bagging? What is the nice thing to say or what to do? What clothes to wear? It's, 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 it's uh, to me, it, it, it is, uh, I, I don't know, people will wake up one day and look back and say, why did I do all these foolish things? And you have to realize that there was no visualization in, in, in past. There was nothing in their mind that we see that actually happened, okay? And I also want to say that people believe that the visualization is more of uh, the, 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 the inspirational group. But there's, a, there's even a scripture for this. So God knew about visualization. He understood visualization. He knew what visualization was. Because he didn't want us to just sit down here and stay and believe in something for something and God is keep on promising. Let's open the book of Genesis, chapter 13, verse 14 to 17. He says, And the Lord said unto Abraham, After that, the Lord was separated, lift up this, thy eyes, and look from the place where 
down northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it to you, that they that they and they shall be your seed forever. God showed Abraham a visualization of what he's about to receive. Right? He needed to know what was going on for him to understand visualization. You see all this land I see you, all these houses I see you, all these places I see you belongs to you. <laughs> Let me tell you, Abraham has not got the land yet. But he had to put in his mind to visualize what it looked like. Let me use another word. Envision what it looked like. Put the vision in you to receive the things you are looking for. So you have to understand these things. You have to understand visualization. And I don't want you to make it say, oh, it's just a magical world somewhere. Only you come with your little magic, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm saying. You are, everybody's just turning this world out. No, these are the life hacks that we have to live by. And if we don't have these life hacks, we are just like everybody else. And until you have the life hacks you are playing, I'm going to finish with this very quickly. What are the, how do you, how do you keep your visualization in front of you? How do you make it look real? Number one thing you need to do is document your visualization. If, the, if I'm believing for the mansion, I'm going to go to a couple of open houses. I probably don't have the money yet. I don't have everything I need yet, but I'm. it's in my mind. I document it, probably I have it on my wall. That kind of stuff. Visual board, whatever you guys want to do. There's a lot of technology today, you can see that. Number two, visit your, 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 your visualization. Visit it. Some places, and I mean, visit does not necessarily mean you have to be physically there. Let me give you a good example. You want to travel. You never, been, I have never been to Dubai, right? But I can go on YouTube tomorrow, right? And look at all the nice places in Dubai that I'm already visiting in my mind, right? That's it. The last one I want to talk about, about the list. Believe in your visualization. Know that it's possible. Know that it's doable. If it's been done before, it can be done again. And do not put yourself below it. Oh, people from that caliber, don't do this. I don't have the resources. It's not about how much it costs, it's where can I do it. When you have it, how much it costs, you're simply limiting yourself. But when you say, where can I do it? It's a matter of time. It's all good, man. I can go with this visualization thing. It's a new version I got, or it's something I reignite again. I want you to visualize yourself in 2023. The year is not even starting yet. You just hit February, right? You can visualize your, your way through. And the next 10 months can be magical. God bless you. All the way again. Nuggets of wisdom. Thank you.